Hey, this is Benny Johnson and welcome to my first iOS development tutorial. In this series, I'm going to show you how to develop both iPhone and iPad applications. But before we dive in and create some really awesome applications, I just want to take some time to talk about this series and what it's all about. The first thing is that this series requires no programming knowledge. That's right. You do not require any programming experience. If you do have that programming experience, great. But if you don't, don't worry. Uh, you'll be able to get through this series because I'm going to start from the basics and I'm going to talk about uh, variables, while loops, and that sort of thing. And we'll go, go into the advanced stuff that we use to create really cool applications. Now, if you do have that programming knowledge already, don't worry, this series is not going to be boring and not going to be, um, you're not going to fall asleep in this series, basically, because Objective-C is very different to many other programming languages you probably already um, have experience with, like Java, Python, .NET, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, Objective-C is really different to other programming languages. So it's going to take you a little bit of time to adapt as well with the newcomers to programming. So you do not require any programming experience. The second thing is, unlike some other videos you see on the internet like YouTube and other sources, I'm actually going to um, not introduce every concept through new projects and introduce like one concept, introduce another concept, introduce another concept, introduce another concept and you know say for example this some series has got a hundred videos on each different concepts like progress bar, label views and that sort of thing but I'm not going to do that because I don't like that way of teaching because by the end of that series you have like a hundred projects that show you each a different small concept but you really haven't learned how to apply that knowledge and create really cool applications. So that's what's going to be different about this series is I'm going to, sh by the end and in the middle of the series and that sort of thing, I'm actually going to teach you how to apply the knowledge you previously learned and how to create really cool applications that could potentially be submitted to the App Store. So I'm going to show you how to do that really cool stuff and create some decent applications using the knowledge you learn in this series. So that's going to be really cool and you're going to get some great satisfaction from um, actually developing those really complex technical responsive applications. So that's basically what's different about this series and in the next tutorial I hope you stick around. I'm going to talk about the requirements to actually develop iPad and iPhone applications and the software we actually need to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to subscribe and watch my next tutorial.